आर एट द पीडियाट्रिक वार्ड ऑफ वाडिया हॉस्पिटल एज यू कैन सी इट्स अ फोर्टी बेड हॉस्पिटल विद लॉर्ड ऑफ स्मॉल चिल्ड्रेन एंड ऑल वी हैव डॉक्टर मिनी मोदनवाला डॉक्टर मिनी वेलकम टू मीडिया आई सीईओ वाडिया हॉस्पिटल एज यू कैन सी दे इज अ स्मॉल किड विच डॉक्टर मिनी इज होल्डिंग इट्स वन ऑफ आर डेली रिचुअल्स she comes to the ward she meets all the patients she herself takes care of all the kids uh, dr mini tell us about the pediatric ward and what kind of patients you get here yeah we are a hospital a uh, 300 bedded hospital which deals it super specialty pediatric care we are a referral center where we get patients from out of mumbai mostly and only the high level complicated patients usually come over here where they don't find treatment anywhere in india It's and one of the best hospitals in India and second best in Asia. What's this uh, little child's name and what what is he suffering from? This little girl is Riddhi. She is oh. a conjoined twin. Okay. We have separated her. Last okay. year in May she was here with us. Okay. And now she is going to undergo the third surgery for her legs. For her legs. Yeah. Uh, what is what is special about this pediatric ward of Vardi Hospital, which makes it you know special in Mumbai? What kind of treatment you give to children who are suffering from heart ailments this is a pediatric hospital where usually uh, we treat other types of patients but for heart we only have a limited scope we do not have the infrastructure nor the equipments we are looking out for infrastructure and equipment if you recollect we had organized a little hearts marathon to create awareness on the heart ailments in the pediatric children so we hope forward that mumbai people come forward and help us out for the infrastructure and the equipments when I mean, you talk about infrastructure at what level and what kind of you know expenses you foresee uh, in terms of daily treatment of such small little angels see it could be anything like most of the population cannot afford a super specialty hospital a high level private hospital so the shelter for them is wadia hospital where we give a uh, treatment to them at a reasonable rate and it is affordable as well as also those non affording patients we treat them free and where do you get this patient there suppose there is a kid who's who's from a slum who's suffering how do you pick them up and how do you manage to get them over here yeah supposing there is a kid who is not aware of our hospital we get aware that there is a person in need of us we go there and we bring them here and then we do all the treatment and see that the kid reaches home back safely Uh, it's world health day today what yeah. is uh, your message as the ceo of wadia hospital i to... think we would follow the who of vector uh, diseases okay. prevention of the vector diseases that is mainly i think uh, dengue these days okay it's more uh, of dengue malaria more of has dengue gone within... yeah malaria has gone down these days but dengue is on the rise so what is the reason for dengue gunia. what is the rise of dengue amongst See, children Uh, it's not just among children it's among a lot of people okay. i guess the awareness which should be done at all different stages is not there if awareness has been created how you can prevent dengue then like cleaning up all the places where water accumulation is there dust dirt and all i guess uh, that would make the environment much more you know livable and prevent of dengue as you can see this little girl has survived thanks to the efforts put in by wadia hospital trust dr mini herself she monitors every children she makes sure that they receive the best of treatment in the best possible way a few days back we also heard that you know you saved a girl who was running from hospital to hospital without yeah it was a treatment. baby boy they yeah. named the boy mithilesh it was in an ice box cap there was a need of an incubator so as soon as we got to know we got them here we treated the child now the child is hale and healthy and uh, got home back what's the survival rate i mean moment you come to know in how much time you have to give them a treatment for their survival see there's no time limit it depends on the criticality of the patient also okay. so as soon as we get to know it depends on the distance from where we need to get the patient okay and in the meantime whatever is required right from the base station to the patient reaches us we take care of all that purabad at the wadia hospital mumbai on the occasion of world health day